more now on that pledge to end deforestation by 2030. Joining us now is the program director of Amazon Watch, Christian Poirier. Christian, how significant is this agreement and what does it mean exactly? Thank you for having me on the show today. I think we can all agree that the pledge to end deforestation is laudable and absolutely necessary at this time. However, we simply cannot afford the timeline that is being set. As it stands, the world is permitting another decade of explosive deforestation, which will push us deeper into a climate crisis. If we look at Amazonian indigenous peoples, today they are calling for 80% of the Amazon to be, be protected by 2025. We need to listen to them and strive to be more ambitious in our collective efforts, or we're setting ourselves up for further disaster. A case in point is the announcement from the Bolsonaro government. Uh, they've offered, they've pledged to end illegal deforestation by 2028. However, there are movements in his government, in the Brazilian Congress today, to essentially legalize deforestation that is currently illegal. His government has overseen an explosive uh, spike in deforestation during his time with over 30,000 square kilometers lost. And so let me, these... let me, hold on a second. Let me stop you there. Um, so are you saying Bolsonaro, even though Brazil signed this agreement, he cannot be trusted on following through? He can absolutely not be trusted. He is a climate criminal who has overseen the wholesale destruction of the Amazon and the assault of its forest peoples. So the word of this man cannot be trusted. And as I said, his legislative agenda is to legalize illegal, uh, illegal deforestation and permit the ongoing destruction of the Amazon. What do, you make, Brazil what do you make of the criticism from climate activists like yourself that they say the 2030 target gives the green light to another decade of deforestation? They say that limit, that deadline should have been set a lot sooner. Absolutely. As I mentioned, what indigenous peoples are calling for, a 2025 de uh, deadline to protect 80 percent of the world's largest rainforest, this is the kind of deadline we need, and we cannot permit another decade of, un of unwanted destruction of, of, of the, uh, the forest of our planet. A similar agreement, as you heard our reporter John um, in Glasgow say, a similar agreement in 2014 really failed to reverse deforestation. In fact, things got worse, John. So how can we make sure this time around, even though Brazil and Russia are on board, things will be any different? Uh, well, really, it's a question of holding a leaders accountable to their pledges. Uh, what we don't see in this announcement is any sort of accountability mechanism. Uh, and it's extremely alarming that we continue to see pledges that do not necessarily have the teeth to make them stick. Um, so there is reasonable, uh, there's reason for skepticism and reason for doubt in this announcement today really um, achieving what it is set out to achieve. What did you want to um, see? <laughs> what we need to see today is the immediate, and I'm speaking specifically about uh, the Amazon, but this extends to other uh, important tropical rainforests that are keeping our climate stable, as it were. Um, we need to see an immediate moratorium on, on further deforestation, which is driven by industrial activities like industrial logging, uh, cattle ranching, monocrop um, agriculture, uh, dam developments, road building, and oil and gas development, along with mining. All of these activities need to be immediately suspended. The expansion of these activities cannot continue. Um, so there, this moratorium on deforestation needs to be real, and it needs to address the drivers behind this. We also need to work with forest peoples, like indigenous peoples, and support them in their auto and, and their sovereignty over their territories. Indigenous peoples are responsible for keeping the forests st of this planet standing. They occupy 4% of our planet, and they are stewarding 80% of the planet's biodiversity. We need to listen to them, and we need to, to directly support them with massive infusions of funding that are not that has no strings attached. Um, so the money that is being pledged today, we, we're curious about where it will go. It needs to go into the right hands, or it will fall into obscurity. It will continue to allow a business of usual scenario to play out, which we cannot afford. Understood. All right, we'll have to leave it there, Christian Poirier. Thank you so much.